They can't go to work in Wisconsin right now. He told me it's like negative 40 degrees over there. So everyone's inside at home watching, supporting them. And then you know Strafin, he's going to be ready to rock. Ryan Danzig, 27 years old from Tacoma, Washington, living in Tacoma, Washington. He's from Marshfield, Wisconsin. And this is going to be a phenomenal game. He's also going to have his wife at home watching, supporting him on. I think she's actually here uh, in the area. He brought her on the trip. She's just watching for, from afar. Maybe, and that's his wife, Amy. Maybe a little good luck charm. As uh, an interesting strategy on the kickoff, going with a squib kick right up the middle, maybe trying to catch him off guard. So good field position to start. And... Uh, this is going to be a game, RG, as so many of these games are. The first quarter may determine how this game goes. The tone has to be set. Yep, and talk about setting the tone. You see these guys setting their audibles right there with the audibles on the fly uh, formation uh, feature. It allows you to pick what plays you want to bring with you to the line of scrimmage from each formation. It's a staple in competitive Madden. If you haven't been using the audibles on the fly feature and you're trying to play at a high level, I don't know what you're doing. Better go put that in your arsenal. Running the ball on first down. That's Ricky Williams picking up six yards for strafing and the Vikings. You're going to see a lot of this uh, three wide set out to the right side. That's that gun trips tight end. Play action pass on second and full. Rolling out to the left, waiting. Deep down the field has a man, and he makes the catch at the 19-yard line. Feet in bounds, a tight window, and a big play to kick off this matchup. Yeah, that's a big play from Strafen, and we saw that in the whole Minnesota cl cl uh, Vikings club earlier in the year where he goes to that trips tight end, he gets that deep crossing route over the middle, and another thing, a good stat about Strafen, as you see him, oh, score a touchdown. In the back of the end zone. Oh, Randy Moss got the juice. And he did it right on cue before I could hit him with the caster's curse. There's a cool stat from the last Vikings Club Championship was every time Strafen passed the 40-yard line, he turned it into points. We've seen him keep that streak continuing right there. First drive against a tough player in drag, gets himself seven. Way to go and get the momentum. If you're Ryan, I'm, I'd be Strafen dancing. Look at this one more time. Play action. The user knows where he's going, and it just doesn't matter. As Randy Moss, he's got that J.U. Ice, that juice over there. A big touchdown to kick off this NFC North matchup here in the round of 32 of the Madden 19 Club Championships. And now it's going to be up to drag to try to respond here, RG, and maybe slow down a little bit that momentum strafing has. Oh, for sure. And the, for Drag, one of the things that hurts is he did the opposite of joke. He spent a significant amount of his cap on this game on defense. He said, I'm a, usually a strong offensive player, which he has been for many years. So he said, I'm not going to spend that much on my offense, and I'm really going to focus on my defense. Unfortunately for him, it didn't work right there against Strafen. And I'll tell you what, if you go check our boy Holden out, who has a YouTube channel, he has a complete breakdown on YouTube of that exact play right there that Strafen ran. So if, if you're interested in that and want to get a little more analytical with it, make sure you go check out my boy Holden. First and 10, looking out to the right side. That's Leonard Fournette with the catch. Steve Young at quarterback for Drag RG. A, a little bit of an unusual person to be playing quarterback. You don't see too many Steve Youngs. Yeah, remember, we, we looked at the numbers for Mike Vick, and 24 out of the 32 lineups had Mike Vick, so Drag, one of the few who decided to go with the different kind of lefty and Steve Young. Maybe a little less fast, but a little more accurate for you. Less cap, too. The oh. southpaw hits Deion Sanders right in the hands. Can't believe he didn't come up with that catch. Sets up a big third down. And Nick, let me just give you the playbooks real quick because you know the people in the chat, they want to know. They want to know what they're looking out for, what they could do to prepare. You got our guy Drag rocking with the Denver offensive playbook and the New York Giants defensive playbook, strafing in the New England Patriots offensive playbook and also in that New York Giants defensive playbook. New England Patriots playbook, one of the most popular here at the Madden 19 Club Championships. Early third down for Dragon, the Packers. Young dropping back to pass. Looking deep down the field. Has a step and jumps on the right side. And he comes up with a catch. And then it is dropped after the hit. RG, a big opportunity for a big play down the field. 
just couldn't connect. Yeah, that's frustrating if you're drag, because if you played a lot of Madden 19, you know when your receiver has a step on the DB and you have that positional advantage, as long as it's a good receiver, more often than not, he's going to hold on to that ball. One of the few times right there you've seen it dropped, and now Drag's got himself in a big fourth and six. And he is going for it. Big moment early in this NFC North matchup. Three wide receivers, those trips over to the left side. One tight end on the right side of that formation. This is huge. Look at Drag. Look at the focus. He knows this is a big play. Dropping back to pass on fourth down. Plenty of time. Looking deep down the field Some over to the left side. And it's picked off going the other way. Spin oh. move down to the 50-yard no. line as Taylor picks that one off. And on fourth down, the gamble doesn't pay off for Drag. Oh, man. And, you know, Strathen, he's pumped up. His wife, Amy, back in the hotel room has to be pumped up. I bet he wishes he knocked the ball down, though, instead of got the interception because he would have already been in field goal range. Now he's got it at the 50-yard line. He's going to need to go and pick up about 20 or so yards to get himself back in field goal range to make it a two-possession ball game. One of the few times where the interception was detrimental to you. Nonetheless, the stop important for strafing with that 7-0 lead in the first quarter, getting a huge stop on the first drive of the game for Drag. And oh, there goes Vic up past the first down marker, 35-30. Little, little forward there from Michael Vic running down the sidelines, picking up 20. One thing both of these players did, which isn't easy to do in salary cap, is they both made sure that they have the tier three sprinter cam. And what that does is it's a chemistry that's going to boost your player's speed rating. Anyone that has that chemistry applied to them to plus two speed and plus one acceleration, both of those guys rock, rock in the tier three sprinter cam. You're seeing early in this game, strafing, running the ball on first down. That's three straight first downs with a run play to Ricky Williams. Nice job by that drag defense. Getting the stops. Play action pass. Looking down to the end zone, and it's overthrown. Looking for the tight window throw on the left side and just couldn't make the connection. Here's the thing, Ryan Umstrafe and Danzig, he is a guy that he is very hard to prepare for. When you talk to drag, oh, wait up, we, we got Keep action. Side, toe tap inbounds at the three yard line. What a catch over on the left sideline, setting up another first and goal. So good with that play. But what I was saying is he has a very unique style of play. You see him, he's running these play actions. He mixes up his defensive play calls. So when you talk to Drag and other players about preparing for him, they say that Strafen is one of the most difficult players to prepare for on the entire circuit. And that's because of his unique play style. And he's putting on a show with it right now so far. Goal line set for strafing, trying to punch this in. A little fullback dive, nothing doing there. As, uh, and it's Ricky Williams taking the carry. No gain on the play. Bring up a second and goal. Big opportunity here for Drag. Get a stop, make him uh, kick a field goal and keep this a 10-point game. And I'm telling you, you're going to have to watch that PA counter go play that he continues to run to get that deep crossing route over the field. He averaged about 26 yards every time he ran that play in the Vikings Club Championship. As you see him, use it to set him up for the touchdown and then walk in for six with the run. I'll do a little play-by-play -play right there, Nick. I hope you don't hold it against me. Doesn't get much easier than that into the end zone. A hole big enough that even I could fit through that one and get in for 6 14 nothing early in this game. And RG, we said these first couple of drives setting the tone so far. Strafing's offense shows no signs of slowing down. And here's the thing, though. If you drag, you still get the ball at halftime. You're a prolific offensive player. As you see Ricky Williams punching in for six. This drive is a momentum drive for you. You can go, get yourself a touchdown, and get yourself right back into this ball game. But it really comes down to this drive. You need to turn it into some points. Are you going to have some real heavy lifting to do to get back in this game? Deep pass. Looking for Dion down near midfield. It is complete. Only the second completed pass of this young game, but that one a huge play for 25 yards. Maybe settling drag down a little bit here in the first quarter. 14 nothing early in this ball game. Plenty of time left here in round one of the Madden 19 club championships. Changing up the play, putting all three wide receivers over to the left side. I like it. That flipping the play is an underrated tactic, Nick. It could really mess up the adjustments of your opponent if you sneak in the flip. Oh, big sack there, though, as Casey gets in there and brings down Steve Young. 
as there were a lot of pre-play adjustments, but it ended up in a loss of eight and setting up a second and long. Yeah, big sack right there by I.B. Strafford, and now Drag's got himself in a second and 18. You gotta remember if you drag, you don't need it all on this one play. You need to dink and duck down the field, take what he gives you, focus on moving these chains. Second and 18, Young in the pocket, holds up nicely. Waiting, looking, he's gonna take off. He's no Mike Vick, but he's got some wheels diving forward to the 50 yard line, picking up eight and taking what the defense gets you. And here's the thing, if you drag, you shouldn't consider yourself out of these get this game. If we just look at it from a statistical point of view, Drag has the number 16th ranked pass offense against Strafen's number 31 ranked pass defense out of 32. So Strafen not great at stopping the pass. So Drag needs to look to exploit that if he wants to come back in this game. Now he finds Kittle, the tight end, making his first catch of the day. And that's a big completion, 15 yards and. All of a sudden, Drag putting together a nice little drive, trying to answer the 14 points. And, and you heard Strafe and yell, that's a cloud. He needs to get back there. But Drag had the running back leaking out of the backfield, too. And that puts that cloud flat outside corner in a con conflict assignment. He needs to, he's caught between the corner route and the flat route. So sometimes he'll get stop, stopped in between. And that was a good route combination. Uh, by drag right there to open up that uh, corner route to the tight end. Speaks to how important play design is. It's not just all about stick skills here at the club championship. See his play art. He's got that corner route. He's got a post route from the slot and a drag coming out from behind it. So there's multiple levels in the field that he's attacking right now with this gun trips tight end. He's going to have someone open. He's just going to have to make the right read. Over the middle. There Tough goes. catch by Johnson. Completed deep down the field. As that takes us to the end of the first quarter. Quick thoughts, RG, on the first quarter. 14-0 strafing on top. Oh, we got ourselves a ball game, and we got ourselves a very important drive right now going into the second quarter for Drag. He's going to want to turn it into a touchdown and not settle for the field goal, but this game is far from over. What a great matchup we have here in the first round in the Madden 19 NFL Club Championship. It's brought to you by New Era the official cap of NFL sidelines. As we head to the second quarter of this NFC North matchup, 14-0 your score, a lot of time left though. As Drag's putting together a nice drive here, RG looking to punch this in. This would be a huge touchdown if he's able to find the end zone. Oh, absolutely. And one thing I want to call out about both of these competitors, these are both guys that have full-time jobs. Uh, they got to, you know, work 40 plus hours a week and they're still able to compete at a high level. My guy Drag, he's out there selling that insurance. He actually works with his wife, Bethany. And then my guy Strafe, and he's a teacher. He'll teach a little bit of math and phys ed at high school and elementary. Elementary school. So these are guys that are able to balance full time jobs with being high level Madden players. You got to respect it. The throw to Fournette over the right side, picking up five, and the windows get tighter here in the red zone. If any of you out there have played Madden, you know how difficult sure. it is to score once that field shortens up. You are not lying, Nick. I'm the king of the field goal in Madden 19. Second and five, handoff to Fournette. Oh, he shakes him off. Fighting Fight. forward, still going to the two-yard line. RG, that might be the most exciting seven-yard run I've ever seen. Oh, look at him. Get out of my way. Gets what? down to the one of the two-yard line, and if drag, you got to assume four downs from the two-yard line, you can get it in for a touchdown. That would be a phenomenal drive and a phenomenal show of poise to get yourself back in this ball game. But nothing's a gimme here on this two-yard line. He's still going to have to work for it a little bit. Drag Watch showing. the fullback dive. And he hands it to the fullback. Nice read up the middle, though, as that interior of the uh, Ivy Strafing's defensive line gets through and, and it, brings him down on that fullback dive. Here's the thing. You get pushed back to the four. Now you got to get out of that goal line formation. And you see Drag, he goes to an I form formation. He might pass the ball here. Second and goal. Yep, he's slanging. Looking to throw. Steps he's got up. Rome. Steve Young he's throws. Hurt. Takes a big hit. He's into the end zone. Oh, Steve Young, not known 
for the wheels, but he not only finds the end zone, RG, he takes a big hit and cuts into this lead. How about Steve Young looking like John Elway in that Super Bowl against the Packers? We saw a little James Vanderbeek dive into the end zone earlier. This time we see Steve Young get popped, but go right over into the end zone for six. And now Drags got himself back in this ball game. And the former two-time All-State wide receiver, Strafen, is going to need to respond. How about that drive? 10 plays, 75 yards, a methodical drive down the field. Used up some clock and cut into that lead. As let's take a look at this one more time. I like it. Sees nobody. Hunger down, Steve. Take that hit. Big right. touchdown and it's even keeled. And he caught him off guard. You come out in the eye close, you're thinking it might be a, str a stretch, some sort of toss, a dive. You're thinking run when that heavy type personnel drag goes to the pass, scrambles with the quarterback, no spy on the field. Oh, wide Look open down the man. field. How about that? Throw that play design and who else but Randall Moss with the catch on and, the left side. And here's what's important. He's past that 40 yard line, so now he's on the 39, and we told you he's got a 100% success rate in getting points once he does that. So you got to assume if he can keep that going, he'll be able to make it a two possession ball game once again, which is going to be very important. I always stress about the two possession ball game, but unless you play competitive matter, you don't realize how much more comfortable you feel once you can make it that two score ball game. Because when it's a one score ball game, anything could happen. So strafing going to fight hard to give himself a little bit of breathing room right here. May, drag, drag adjusting the headset. May come down to if Drag can make some big plays defensively. Here in the NFC North side of the Madden 19 Club Championship. I'm going to run for Ricky Williams up the middle. Not a whole lot there. Maybe picks up a couple. Sets up a third and four and this is where that defense for drag is going to have to buckle down. You don't want to give up any more than a field goal on this drive. Just going through my rosters, I, I would love to get some insight on what Ricky Williams he has out there. You know, when you're in ultimate team, there's all types of different versions of a player that you can have. Ooh. Curious what, what version Strafen has on that Ricky. I think he just powered him up a little, and now he's got a fourth and four. He's going to have to take three here, Nick. Went to throw for it, and good job getting some... Pressure on Vic as the kick is up. And it is good. Lead extended to 17-7. But, RG, you got to think that's a win for Drag holding him to a field goal. It is. There's one thing Drag did there that I didn't like, and he didn't come out in field goal block. He just came out in a regular defense. Um, I, I feel like if your opponent's kicking a semi-deep field goal, you need to at least show the field goal block to make them think about it, maybe throw them off their game a little bit. When I'm kicking a field goal and I see you just out there in a normal 3-4 th or whatever and I don't got to worry about the block, I feel that much more comfortable. And in a game of inches, you don't want to give anyone an inch, even if it's a slight mental edge like that. So something small, but I, I wasn't too happy to see that from Drag. You got to take advantage of every play in every situation. Play action pass, Ooh, looking nice underneath, spin, nice be careful. spin move to the 32 yard line, picking up seven. I'm telling you, the thing with that spin move, if you get hit in your back while you're spinning, you're usually pretty safe. But if one of those defenders comes on head on with you right after you get out of that spin animation, there's a significant increase in fumble chance. And these players, they've timed it very well, but they, they're playing with fire a little bit every time they're spinning with those defenders around them after the catch. It's a game of milliseconds when it comes to the timing on some of these animations. As second down and three, the defense getting to Steve Young once again. A big sack and now a third and 13. And RG, uh, this offense for Drag, it's been a little inconsistent here in the first quarter. Yeah, I'm telling you, he didn't spend a lot of cap on that offense. I mean, he only has one ability on the entire offense, and it's that Chad Ocho Cinco with the elite route runner chemistry, but nothing else. No gunslinger, no conductor, no playmakers, none of that stuff. Third and 13, looking for a big pickup. Steps out to the left side. He's going to chuck it down. Fear, a little playmaker play. bringing Johnson back to him. Picks up the first down at the 43 yard line. And I'm not sure if it was a playmaker, but what happens is when you extend those plays, and you're, in a, and you're in a zone coverage, and you give the receivers that much time to break off their route and go into get open mode, a lot of time they're going to be able to attack that tender area of the soft zone. Saw it a little bit right there. Oh, oh that could have been picked Golly. off. Oh, Bailed Reed. out. Wow. Got that his Sandra huge. on. He got his Sandra on right there. Fortunate for him. Not picked off. Oh. You got to be careful. 
Those are the plays you look back on of what could have been new life for Drag on this drive as he looks over the middle field once again. A little high pass, complete down to the 50-yard line. The downfield defense for strafing, RG, has been very good, not letting a whole lot behind him. Here's the thing about strafing is he's constantly mixing up his defense. He'll show you a look and make it look the same way every time, but it's constantly different. One time it's a two look, but it's a three. Right now he's in a cover two. But he'll, he'll give you different looks, but you never know what the shell's going to be. So instead of making a pre-snap read, you got to make a post-snap read. Oh, he's pumped. And uh, nearing the end of the big first play. half, that was a big play on third down. He was looking for the screen on the right side. This is about to be huge right here. Fourth and four. See what drag can cook up. This is going to be huge. Shotgun formation showing that trips look to the left side. He's been loving the, the tight end on the corner route. You see it right there. And that slot receiver on the post with a drag coming behind it. Oh, he puts the tight end on a slant. Brings Johnson all the way across the formation. Fourth and four. Lurk. Huge play. Has the man alone. Sanders it's dives close. Did it's he go. get it? It's close. Straight and stop Big them. stop for the defense at the 47-yard line. Came up about half a yard short. RG, a huge defensive play before the half. Oh, you want to talk about a game of inches. Let's take a look. The cloud flat backs up. Rallies down. She goes for the dive because it's Wait, little Deion Sanders. Comes up an inch short. Wow. I'm not joking when I tell you it's a game of inches and frames and every little bit matters. It's usually why speed is so important. And right there, Drag just comes up and in short. It's over to the left side. Completes it to Davis picking up five. RG, we've already seen in this game, uh, Drag normally pretty good on fourth down. 0 for 2 in this game. And because of that, he's down 10, 17-7, an opportunity. Here's that play action again by Strathen. He's Locked got him. Right side. Oh. oh, over the top into the end zone, or into the, the sidelines. I think he, he hit a popcorn vendor in row four with that throw. <laughs> You're pretty good, Nick. I like you. I'm enjoying this, man. Yeah, this is going to be a big play right here, though, Nick. He's going for this on fourth and seven. This is a momentum play for Drag more than anybody. He can get himself all the way back if he can hold strong on this fourth and seven. 42 seconds left, a huge play before the half. Fourth down and seven, play action pass. Zone mixed with man. Looks over to the right side, has a man, it is complete. Down to the 31 yard line, give him 19, 20 for the first down, and just beautiful play design by Strafen. What a play by I.B. Strafen, AKA Ryan Danzig. This is playing in his third ever live event. Two time club championship, made the final 32 at Madden 17. One of the more respected players in the communities. Fun guy, awesome guy to hang out with. Considers himself a Madden junkie. And the Madden junkiness is paying off for him right now. He's in complete control. Going out to the right side. Has a man standing alone. That's Davis. He's got a first the down. Spin back inside. Oh! Davis. Oh, he's still got some wheels as the spin move makes one man miss. And then RG, it's as easy as walking in. Oh my gosh, I'd be strafing, looking tough right now in the first half, up 24-7 against Drag, and I don't think we've seen him make a bad read yet, Nick. He is making this gun trips tight end look so prolific and strong, and you just have to give him a ton of credit. It's him out there making the right read, calling the right plays, and he's got young Kyles back against the ropes right now. Look at this, stick work. Whoopsie! Get out of my way. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy into the end zone for strafing. A huge touchdown before the half. And it all goes back to that fourth and five. He was able to convert with 42 seconds left. Extended the drive, next play. He's in for six. See if Drag can do anything with limited time, only one timeout. Three man, or four man rush from Strafing looking deep down the field in the post route. What a catch at the 50. Oh, a dangerous throw, RG, and it pays off. Very dangerous. You heard Strafen say, give me that. He thought he was going to use or lurk that. Instead, Drag gets himself to the 50-yard line. But here's the problem, Nick. He has zero timeouts. So he's going to need to get something towards the sideline, get out of bounds, try to get himself in field goal range. I mean, a field goal still is good here. Gets you into a two-touchdown ball game, which is definitely manageable with a whole half to play. Oh, he looks deep down the field. Has Sanders. 
Ray's probably actually happy he dropped that. I don't know if he would have had enough time to get back and spike it. Or it it would have been close. He wouldn't have hurried up. In, in Madden, you go scum. You go straight to the play call screen, and then you try to get the field goal right away. Sometimes that takes a lot. That's a lot faster than actually go and hurry up to spike the ball. He may have had a chance. I'm surprised he didn't go to the deep crossing route that looked like it was breaking a little bit open toward the sideline. That would have just got him out of bounds. Nine seconds left. Can drag put points on the board. A huge sack. And that will end the first half of big defensive play. And that's sort of been the story of the first half of this NFC North matchup. 24 to 7. I'd be strafing. He'd be winning over drag. And RG, it's been uh, pretty dominant. Let's take a look at the highlights of the first half of action in this NFC North part of the bracket. Both players anxious for a win, loose, and here we saw Mike Vick looking back at the end zone. Who else but 84, Randy Moss with the catch. And Moss, he's just shown time and time again that he's able to hang on to those one-hand grabs with traffic. Here was the interception on fourth down that, you know, you usually wish that they could pat that ball down, but Strafen doesn't look discouraged. So that was a big interception. Then Ricky Williams walks into the end zone, an early two-score lead for Strafing. And it looked like he was in control, but the answer from Drag, Steve Young taking a lick at the goal line, holding on and cutting it back to a one-score lead. But since then, RG, it has been all strafing. Yeah, and when you can take a little check down flat route like this and turn it up the field, make a guy miss and turn it into a big touchdown, those are the kind of plays that are really going to win you John Madden football games. At a huge touchdown before the half and 24-7 the score back at the desk. Nick Mazesco, RG. RG, uh, we've seen some deficits going into halftime. We haven't seen anybody come back yet. Down 24 to 7. What does Drag have to do in the second half uh, to cut into this deficit and give himself a chance? I mean, it's going to sound cliche, but it, it, sometimes cliche stuff's the realest stuff that you'll hear. And he just needs to take it one play at a time. You, you can't think about too much. It's what focus on the next play what can i do on the next play to give myself an advantageous position and start to get points on the board and then before you know it things may start to happening but you really have to take it one play at a time if you get ahead of yourself if you think about the deficit a little bit too much it's just going to be too much to overcome but if you just go about it slowly and prolifically good things may happen well let's be clear there's no stoppage in action here at the madden 19 club championship rico's been keeping an eye on the other game going on right now rico how has the action been what's going on and you see the action is great here in the players lounge just like it's been on that other game mckinley has been going at it with canes it all starts with canes you know he likes to air the ball out well he went up top real quick and got up to a lead but mckinley Trying to play a little bit of basketball. Going to come back with a three of his own. But we know you need seven in Madden. And when you need seven, you find that man. Keynes did that. Got his extra point. But he wasn't done yet. He started to pile on. Julio with another completion. Gives it up. Ricky, run, Ricky, run. But McKinley facing, getting flooded. Decides to go up top to Moss. That one-handed grab gets him in the end zone. He's not going to have the ball to start with, but at least he has something he can build with, some momentum heading into that second half. Hopefully he can make a comeback, and I'm going to go ahead and give it back to you guys. Thanks a lot, Rico. RG, this game, uh, a close battle. McKinley, a little bit of an early deficit, but we know he's got the talent to come back in this game. Yeah, two-possession ball game. I mean, ho hopefully the data doesn't lie for him and he's able to come back because he's going up against a feisty player in Canes. Canes, one of the most respected players, someone that practices with elite-level competition. So that's a true test right there, being down 11 to a player of Kane's status from McKinley. will be interesting to see how that one shapes up. We've got a great game of our own. We're ready to send it out to the second half. Vikings and Packers, IB strafing and drag. 24-7. The score, IB strafing and the Vikings on top. Drag getting the ball to start the second half. An opportunity to change the momentum. Down a couple scores. Play action pass. Pressure gets to Young, down goes Young, and talk about setting the tone, RG. A big sack on first down for Strafing. 
Yeah, and Strafe, and he's in this big nickel over G look, and it's speaking to a lot of the competitors, a lot of them switched to this defensive front for this tournament. They felt everyone was very prepared for the nickel normals and the nickel 3-3-5s, so they thought they were going to throw their competitors off with the over G. So far, great strategy for Strafen. The thing that I thought funny, it, it felt like it was everybody's game plan. Ah, I'm going to catch him off guard with the over G. But almost every player I talked to had that same mentality. So I, I expect to see more of this defense as the day continues. But Strafen putting it on display uh, very well so far in this game. Seems like as quickly as you're saying, I'm going to catch him off guard. Suddenly it's the norm. Exactly. And that's what happened. It's funny. After you interview like your sixth player and you're like, oh, I'm going to catch him off guard over G. You don't want to blow up anyone's spot, but in your head, well, I don't know if you're going to catch him off guard. So far, though, it looks like Strafen definitely catching drag off guard here with this defense up 24-7. Third and 14. Looking for a big conversion. Looks over the middle of the field. Has Johnson, but a big hit fries that ball free. It seems like uh, it's been it's been tough to get the tough catches against the Strafen defense. Here's the thing, Nick. There's one thing when your AI player uh, hit sticks a, a receiver after the catch. You know, you still have. But when you can do it as a user and get there at the point of contact and pop them with that hit stick, it's a really good feel. And that was a phenomenal display of stick work and field awareness right there by Strafen. Big fourth and 14 right here. Looking for a conversion to right the ship. Down 24-7. Play clock running down. Johnson coming in motion, takes the snap, drops back, steps up in the Boy, pocket. Rush. Rolling, looks, trying what to lob it to the left sideline, oh! but he can't complete it. Oh, it looked too perfect, RG. Just the connection couldn't be made. Oh, Drag keeps his poise, steps up against the four-man rush, puts the touch pass out there, and his receiver just lays down for the Guala. You need a, if you're my receiver, I need you selling out right there, putting your life on the line. We're down 24 to 7. I need you to get dirty, do something. I need a little bit of that hustle. Oh, look at the morale right there. That says it all. Still plenty of time left, especially if that defense can get a stop inside the red zone. We know all too well that everything can change with one turnover, one negative play. Look at Strafe, he's just killing the clock right now. Going to take Smart his time. Play. Yeah, no, this is exactly what you should be doing. You got to expect the run right here. Second down and six. It is indeed a run. It's a nice stop in the backfield, setting up a third and six. RG, is there any danger for strafing here in the second half? We see him killing the clock. We see him running the ball. Is there any danger of being too conservative? I don't think you could be too conservative. The question is, is, do you mess up while you're being conservative? Do, do, do you get hit-sticked and fumbled for the, the other way? Things of that nature. But uh, do you get your kick blocked? But I think as long as he doesn't throw any drastic turnovers that go the other way for six, I mean, he is in very, very good shape, especially with the way his defense is playing. Third down and five. It's going to be a run once again with the former University of Texas product, Ricky Williams. And he, here's the thing. If you're straight, then you may consider going for it here. Fourth and two. If you're able to convert a fourth and two at that point, you're able to milk some more clock, perhaps punch it in the end zone. Look at Drag. He wouldn't mind strafing going for it. He needs something to get some momentum, but... I think Strafen's just going to come out and kick this field goal. And there's Drag again. You see what I mean right there? He's not in a field goal. But you're, you're down three scores. You, you need you drastically, you need a play to get you back in the ball game. A field goal block would be just that. And he, he's sitting there in a, a three-foot. That's the type of stuff that drives me nuts. You need to leave it all out there on the field, on the virtual gridiron if you drag it. And that, that to me, that's just a sign of you not doing that right there. Well, so here's the question then. We saw him do it earlier. Now at this point, down 24-7, now 27-7. That may be a sign of he's sort of put this game to bed. He's ready to go home and, and be done with this. I, I, you know, I, I don't think he, he wants to just be done with it, but I think it's just a lack of diligence on his part right now. And In this type of game, I mean, Skimbo's the prime example of it. You need to be ready for every single situation, all phases of the game, no matter what it may be. And, uh, you know, it's something small, but that, that just shows me, you know, a lack of either trying or a lack of readiness for the situation. you got to respect situational football in both real life and John Madden. See so many of the great players doing the little things right. That may be an example of something slipping through the cracks. 
First and 10, looking for that seam. Nice high pass to Rice, down to the 43-yard line. RG, that may be the best read we've seen from Drag all day. A real nice throw up the seam. John, 20 points. You better start making some nice reads. <laughs> get the nice reads going. You need uh, just as many nice reads as you can get. As working against the clock and a pretty good opponent. Good Looks for Sanders on the sidelines. What a throw to the wheel. Down to the 18-yard line inside the red zone. Finally, a sustained drive from Drag, who needs a couple of them. Down 20 points. Here in the first round. There you go. There's some focus. That's the type of game face I want to see from my buddy Kyle right there. Gotta lock in, young man. Stepping up in the pocket, oh, takes a big hit. Oh, lucky that one's incomplete, not a fumble. Just was able to hit the button at the right time. Set up a second and 10. And you see Strafe, and he's bouncing around in different defensive formations. He was in some over G. You're going to see him at the line of scrimmage. Now he's in a little nickel 3-3-5 normal. And this is one of the things that just make him one of the hardest players to prepare for. Is you just never know what he's going to come out in in any given situation. He is so willing to mix up his coverages. Looks back at the end zone. Tough and catch and cover brings it down. Double coverage, no problem. It's a touchdown for Drag as he's able to cut into that 20-point lead. RG, we were saying he needs a big play. Still got a lot of work to do. Still got to deal with this strafing offense to stop, but it's a big touchdown. It cuts into the lead. And it's what we just talked about in the sense of in order for him now to get back into this game, if he can force some sort of fumble on this kickoff, any type of thing that's going to get him points in a hurry or a quick turnover, he is all the way back in the ball game, which is why I get so frustrated about him not taking the opportunity to try to block a kick and make a play. He is going to need to make a big play on some form on defense if he wants to get back in this ball game. And anytime you're given that opportunity, you got to try to capitalize. But this is huge. This is probably a game-defining drive right here for this game. You hear it so often, taking it one play at a time, one score at a time. Don't try to bite off more than you can chew. It's a big touchdown. There's still lots of time left in this game, folks. So happy you're joining us here on day one of the Madden 19 Club Championships. There's that play action. PA counter goes. It's never good when you're turning and running from good the defense, defense like that. <laughs> no, that was good defense by Drag. I'm telling you, when we look at the stats, our guy Straven's averaging about 26 yards a pop when he runs that play. But Drag right right there all over it forces the throw away. And now it's a big third and seven in Straven territory. He goes right back to it. Here it is. Defense Another gets sack. there, though. Big play. And just like that, RG, it's, it's the heart monitor has started beeping again. There is life on the side of Drag as he gets a huge sack on third down. Yeah, Javon Curse and quarterback meat tastes sweet. And Javon Curse had sweet tooth right there. And I'll tell you, Drag spent some of his most on his three down D lineman. This is big. Big play, fourth oh, and no. 15. Trips over to the right side. Rice coming in motion. Play action pass. Vic dropping back. Vic gets hit. And it's oh, picked off going the other way. The A huge defensive play for Drag as they get great field position at the 30 yard line. RG, you said it. It's one play that could turn this game. That might have been it. Oh, that was definitely it. We got ourselves a ball game here. Now Strafen needs to get stingy on defense. If Drag goes down and gets a touchdown here, he's going to have all the momentum. Oh, we got ourselves a ball game. And would the Packers Vikings. Rivalry be anything else. Look at Dragski with the interception. What a pick over the middle for Drag. And that replay brought to you by Snickers. You're off your game when you're hungry. Eat a Snickers. I love me a good Snickers, Who man. Does? It really will. Like, you Rico know, doesn't. The, he's, he's you know on the commercial, it will change your attitude. I've seen that happen before. My morale's been boosted from a Snickers more, more, than, more than a couple times. As we have hit the end of the third quarter, we got a ball game here. 27-14, RG, Drag with the ball, the huge interception. This game is far from over. I feel like Drag just ate a Snickers. He ate the Snickers, and it's a whole new ball game now. It's a completely different Drag going into this fourth quarter. We got ourselves a close one. This is what I live for here. Want the latest information on Madden 19? Join Farles and Gibbs each morning at 10.30 Eastern for Madden Daily Drops on Twitch. They'll break down the newest Ultimate Team program and title updates along with the X's and O's of Madden. You can even link your Twitch and Madden accounts to earn rewards for viewing. Next one is tomorrow morning at 10.30 Eastern. Got 
people up some free drops. Put those MDDs in the chat right now, why don't you? If you're a Madden fan and you're not messing with MDD, I don't know what you're doing. As we are heading to the fourth quarter of this matchup that has gotten very interesting since the first half. Oh, has it? It is now 27-14, and Drag with the ball coming up with a huge turnover at the end of the third quarter, and now an opportunity to cut it back to a one-score game. Going to run the ball again. Hand up to Fournette. He's got all a big kinds hole. Of room. Down to the 11-yard line. Nice mix of a play call in there, RG, bringing in the run and picking up eight. Yeah, he's looking good right now, and now he's getting into stingy territory. Good news for Drag is he only needs two yards for a first down and a fresh set. Second down and two for Drag. He's going to slang it, though. You look at that play art. Dropping back to pass. Steps up, looks to the right side. Little sit route over there in between the zones. Picks up five right there. That was uh, an interesting play call because you could see he was just looking to pick up the first down. Yeah, very nice play, play call. Get that little hitch route. High pass it to a good receiver. That's a, and you'll see these EMB guys like Drag and Ghost uh, do very well. Oh! And that runs over a man, but gets taken down from behind. Only a gain of two on the play. Gonna bring up a second and goal. And boy, crucial, crucial moment here in this first round matchup. He went, he went on the center last time he was down here in the eye close. Let's see if he switches it up again. Yeah, here he is in a single back bunch instead of a gun bunch now. Bunch formation, three to the right side. Sanders alone on the left side. Fournette in the back. scramble again. Dropping back to pass. Back of the end zone. Two feet in. No, he is out of bounds. Oh, boy. Close to a one-score game. Instead, a crucial third and goal. Oh, how close was that, Nick? It looked like he might have got the toe-tap swag. No go, though. And now he got a third and goal from the four-yard line. Last time he was in this situation, he went to the eye close. A little scramble with Steve Young getting hit over the middle. This time he's in that back in the shotgun. Gone, gone. Three wide receivers over the right side. The tight end Kittle on the left. Watch the hitch route to Rice again. You see that play art. He's got two hitches right there. High ball to Y. Looking for it. Tough no catch in traffic. He brings it down. It's a touchdown for the Packers. And just like that, it's a one score ball game. Oh, it might be cold in Wisconsin, but it's getting hot in here. What a ball game that we got. And you know Drag's wife, Bethany, has to be at home in that freezing cold going nuts. Because husband Drag is battling, and he's battling back. 27-21. This game looked all but wrapped up. And we've seen Drag's resiliency. A big turnover, two touchdowns, and all of a sudden, with 3.46 to go, it's going to be up to the defense to come up with a stop and give his team a chance. Look at this one more time, RG. Those hitches, he's been using them all day. The high pass and a huge catch in traffic. Yeah, and that's something. If you're at home and you're struggling, struggling on the goal line, that's free money right there. You get two hitch routes, two good receivers. High ball the one they're not guarding. And man, Drag is on fire right now. Look at him. He's got a little extra pep in his step right now. That Look at that look. Confidence back in his eyes. He's locked in. As a big hit on first down, setting up a second and 10 strafing. Trying to put this one away. Back to the PA counter go once again. Being chased by the Drag defense. Continues to have it locked. And has to chuck it out of bounds, and it's a third and 10 now. RG, the momentum feels like it's shifted, but it can all be taken away. Oh, look at them in the players' lounge. <laughs> it's intense back there. You see Joe banging the couch, rooting on his guy. Ghost is dead serious. Wheel on the right side, dropping back on third and ten. Rolls to the right Got side. Him. Has Good a man, play. Davis, underneath, and he'll pick up the first down to the 43-yard line. Beautiful rollout, beautiful taking what the defense gives you. It's a big first down for Strafen. Oh, that was a huge play right there by Strafen. Continue to move the chains, continue to milk the clock, and now you're just about say about five, five to ten yards, maybe out of field goal range, maybe a little, six to ten. Then you can get that field goal, make it a two nine point ball game. You'll be feeling good. So this is going to be a key 10 yards that Drag needs to protect right here to keep him out of field goal range. Huge couple of plays coming up. It's going to be hand up on first. What a boom! The hole at the 44 yard line. The pressure came up the middle and he drops him for a two yard loss. A huge stop on first down. Not a bad way to stop the run. Let me just shoot the gap, activate the hit stick and crack you across the mouth. Strafen needs to get some of this momentum back. This has just been a battle back and forth. Let's, Let's go! go. Oh, he's got it! He's got it! He's got it! And he tripped Double. over 
his own man to the 50 other side of midfield. He's to the 45 yard line. A huge turnover as a mistake from strafing opens the door for drag. Oh my goodness, drag right now is a tougher out than Kofi Kingston in the Royal Rumble. He will not go away. And what a way to battle back if you drag. Two picks over the middle here in the second half is giving drag new life. Hand off up the middle for that spin move. Shakes off another tackler to the 33, picking up 12. And I'll tell you what, the Green Bay native, Kyle Ray there for drag racer. Green Bay, Wisconsin doing the Packers proud right now because he was all but down and out and now he finds himself on the guap drive down six. The players lounge keeping a close eye on this one as it's turned into a ball game here on day one. First down and 10 looks to the flat. He has Fournette out of bounds at the 28 yard line picks up five and takes a big deep breath. And there's only 2.03 left, but you got to figure, you still have the two-minute warning. Both players have three timeouts. A lot of different things that could happen in this type of situation. Second down and six. Drag down six, needs a touchdown. Brian Johnson in Levels. motion once again. Takes the snap. Four-man rush from the Vikings. Uh, Looks hey, over the right side, has Kittle. Oh, and he overthrew him. He had his man. A little too much mustard on that ball as we've hit the two-minute warning in a crucial third and six. I think part, part of the problem right there seemed like he went for the possession catch. He saw that A light up. In that situation with that high ball, you need to go aggressive just to get you, give yourself a chance to get your hands on it. Small mistake right there from Drag, but it could be costly. Third down and six, dropping back. Looks over what the middle, has a combo. man at Sanders oh, spin yeah. move, and he'll fall down at the 14-yard line, a big third down pickup. And RG, that was poetry in motion with that beautiful throw across the middle. Oh, that play was definitely poetry in motion. Tighten all types of levels to guard. You got a deep post route, you got the tight end on a corner, you got a drag, and then you got the backside short dig route coming in right over the middle to attack the area of the field that you just cleared out. That was high level, real football concepts working for drag right there in John Madden football. Heavy box shown by strafing. They're gonna run it with Fournette over oh. the left side. He's got some blocks, breaks one tackle. Down to the 10 yard line, picking up four. And mm. RG, if you're strafing, you've got to find a way to stop the bleeding. You've thrown a couple picks. I mean, what is your mindset right now? You're on the ropes. Well, his mindset right now is to not let up this first down. He just used his first time out. If Drag's able to get this first down, he Whoa. can ensure himself to make sure Strafen gets the ball back with nothing left. But nonetheless, he needs a touchdown. Field goal, no good. He's looking for a uh, look like a little sit route from Kittle. Couldn't make the connection slightly overthrown as this ball game coming down to the wire. Got so much action coming up here on day one, so don't change that chance. And up to Fournette. Got Back wrong. to the run game. Oh, weaves around his own oh, blocker, gosh. but gets down to the six. He's going to be just shy, and RG, this is, it. this is the ball game right here on fourth. This is it, Nick. All this battle and all the hard work, all the late nights, all the grind, representing your NFL team. Both your wives are at home watching. You got your home taunts back at home watching. Who's going to step up? Fourth and two. Who wants it? This is your ball game, folks. Three wide receivers over to the right side for drag. Shotgun formation. There's the double Young hitch takes again. the snap. Looks over to the right side. High yeah, pass. Yeah. He's not in. Brought down at the one yard line. He's shy of the touchdown, but RG, he picks up the all important first down. And, and, but this is where things get awkward. Strafen has no timeouts left. You still need to score a touchdown. What's most important to you? Is it scoring the touchdown right away and giving Strafen a chance to get the ball back with a minute and five? Or are you going to try to God just... Damn it. Doesn't get in. Oh, that is big, right? That was... That could be a good thing for Drag get, if he's able to score the touchdown. Once again, goal line set. Look at Strafen. He's going to let him score. Strafen... Oh, no. He decided. No, he pinches it back He pinches together. it back. Look at the, the mental pretzel that these players must be in right now. There's a lot of high-level stuff going on. Clock's running down. Goal line, three tight ends set. Going to hike it with one second left. It's going to be a QB sneak right up that middle. Didn't get in on first down. Looking for it on second down. And he gets it into the end zone. And this ball game, which looked all but over, is tied here with
with 33 seconds to go. And finally, look at the smile from Drag. All game long, it's been intense. Sad face, dead serious face, comeback face. Finally, you get a little smile from him. And now 33 Believe. seconds. What a swing. Wow. When's the last time my dog Strafen put up some points, man? I feel like he's in a... It was a 27-7 ball game. 21 unanswered from Drag. And this one has completely swung the opposite direction. But let's not forget, there's still 33 seconds left. And strafing has got the offense to get down the field. He only needs a field goal. So Drag's going to be trying to keep everything in front of him, everything in bounds, and make sure they don't get beat over the top or get him into field goal position. Strafing with the Jason Myers 11-cap kicker, only a 76 overall. So doesn't have the best leg on his team to get it. He, so he's going to need to do a little extra work to get into field goal range. I say about Drag's 35-36 yard line. Deep pass, corner route, He's way in, it. down corner route to Randy Moss, number 84. The Viking legend coming up with a big catch as the players' lounge is in, locked into this. They're all on their feet. They're on, we're on their feet. They're on their feet. If you're at home, get on your feet. 28 seconds left, just outside of field goal range. Dropping back to pass. Steps up, Got looks down up. the middle, has a what miss. And it's Pride Free, the user with a big play. Drag might be the biggest hit of his career here in the first round. Was that a user hit? Yes, it was a user right. hit. What a play right there by Drag. Way to step up with your club championship life on the line. This is intense. 22 seconds left. Second down and 10. Rolling out to the right side. Looks to the Got corner it. route. And he has it. It's, it's ticking, Randy Moss it's inbounds. It's ticking. Drag's going to call timeout. Drag calls timeout. And so just when it looked like maybe people at home thinking Drag completed this comeback, we said 33 seconds left. That's plenty of time, and strafing has shown he can make it happen. First and 10. He's going to be thrown for it here on first down. Looks over to the right side, has a man back in the end zone wide open, but missed him. I'll tell you what, if Strafing goes to kick this field goal and Drag doesn't come out in that field goal block, I might lose it. I might lose we it. Might, we might actually lose RG, like just completely lose him. He's not in it again. <laughs> Ball is down, Did kick it is up, it is it's good, it. and Strafing's back on top with six seconds left, and RG's mind is completely blown. Because he could have called the timeout even to get into the field goal block, even if Strafing picked the kick before. Oh, I'm baffled. I'm completely baffled, Nick. And the comeback may all be for not six seconds remaining. Drag needs a miracle. All right, now, look at 56. This game is over. The winner's joining us at the desk. And it'll be interesting to pick their brain. I what wouldn't put it past him in this game, I'll tell you, Nick. Drop him back, clock running down, That's... no time left. And he gets sacked, and the comeback is thwarted as IB Strafing gives up 21 unanswered, RG. But with 33 seconds left and no timeouts, he says no problem, gets down the field and kicks the winner with six seconds remaining. Oh my goodness, what a ball game. Phenomenal competitors right there. Strafing had to fight through some serious adversity. It was looking grim for him for a second. Keeps his poise, and I can't wait to get him up here. He's going to be a lot of fun to talk to. He is pumped as the comeback is completed. 30 to 28. We're going to get him all mic'd up. Energy in the first. A round of the Madden 19 Club Championships. Strafe, uh, that was quite a game. How do you feel after that sort of emotional back and forth battle? Uh, he's a good player. I kind of knew he'd make a run. Um, I made some dumb plays. Um, I tend to do that from time to time. Uh, he was blowing up my run, so he adjusted well in the second half. Um, but I think my mental toughness is what separated me. A lot of people after folding like that would just charge it to the game and move on, but I was going to fight that last uh, drive and make it happen. Oh, that was a scary last drive. What does a battle like that do for you in this event? Do you, do you now feel like you're getting a little bit more comfortable? Does that get the juices flowing even more? Uh, I mean, uh, yeah. How are you feeling? Hey, I, lo I, love, I love these live events. Um, I like performing under pressure like that. Uh, I think it'll help me, but it's just one game. Got to reset uh, tomorrow and get after it again. 
is a, a little bit sweeter representing the Minnesota Vikings and then being able to knock off the Packers representative given that rivalry. I mean, between. I grew up in Wisconsin, so sur surrounded by Packer fans. So I, I got harassed quite a bit uh, growing up. So, yeah, it does feel kind of nice, but Drake's a great player, a good dude, and uh, – Hate, it, hate that it had to be him, but I told him to pick the Jets. He's a Jets fan. Pick the Jets next year. Get out of the division. I'm sick of playing you. He so. wanted to rep. He's a Wisconsin guy, too, and he wanted to be a back-to-back -back champ. Yeah, 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 Two-time champ like yourself. Look at some of these highlights, Strafin. As we take a look at yeah. the highlights from this matchup, a big comeback from Drag down 27-7. Comes up with a couple big plays, and none bigger than this one. A huge interception with 240 left. What was your mindset after that pick? I think he was in the spy, and I playmaker it right to him. So I was kind of disappointed, but I was like, I better uh, figure it out here real quick and uh, get back on the horse and keep going. And with 33 seconds left, the ball is punched in with that quarterback sneak. I, I let him score. I tried to let him score the first time, and he got caught up, and I was so mad. I thought that was a game because that was huge. I, you should definitely try to let him score that. I was expecting you to spread the line on yeah, that yeah, last I one. I should have. I, I put everyone in the spy. I thought they'd get pancake, but whatever. Well, nonetheless, the kick goes through the uprights and sends you to the second round. Uh, what an unbelievable matchup. Thanks for playing here. Thanks for letting us call that game, and good luck in the second round. Hey, nice job, guys. See you tomorrow. Congrats, man. Now, we had another game going on here uh, at the Madden 19 Club Championships. Rico kept an eye on that one. Rico, this is as exciting as this one.